Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. And August 9th here, I didn't do so great. Um, but now I'm like coming into stride, I'm getting used to the you know, competition, which I haven't had, you know. Um, and so I think moving forward, I know it's possible now, obviously, you know, and um, we've, we're still looking to move forward. Obviously, uh, a magical 70 number is what we're trying to achieve. I know, I believe my coach 100% knows how to get me there, so, yeah. What was the feeling the first, like, when you pee on two straight rounds, what oh, was yeah. the feeling when that leaves your hand, you know, when you see the box? Um, I felt balanced. I didn't feel like I hit it, like, with, you know, a great amount of strength. I felt balanced and quick, if that makes any sense. You know, um, just being able to release it actually flat without it kind of shaking and stuff like that. And what was the emotion like getting those PRs? I mean, I felt a surge of adrenaline, you know, like I'm definitely pumped up and uh, I look at my coach and he's like, keep it down. Like, you know, like obviously these guys are uh, <laughs> gonna contend for that and they did, but um, you know, so, like I said, I mean, we learn more and more every year, and I'll be able to contain that energy still and, uh, you know, apply it to next rounds. How does it feel being a medalist? It's incredible, man. I've had, a, I've had this dream of getting on the podium in the Worlds or the Olympics since late middle school, early high school, you know. Um, I haven't been this proud since I broke the national record in high school in 2009, you know. It's, uh, it's indescribable. You know, sort of watching the, the fourth place guy throw, you seem pretty calm. You, you oh, I think I was in. just a little numb, like because oh. I know he can throw. You know, like Dakers has, he's thrown. You know, and so I was like, well, whatever he does, you gotta, you, you gotta, gotta respond. You know, and so, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. So what's the farthest you've thrown in practice? Um, you guys measure them all. Well, we we have rough lines. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's around kind of what it is tonight. Yeah. So. This is the, I mean, there just aren't a lot of sponsorship opportunities in your event, especially for Americans. Do you, do you have a contract where you're like, you able to just live straight on the price of your income? Like, what's your situation like? My situation now is I'm signed with Nike, um, and so I get um, a stipend from them. And then, um, but right now, I mean, to make ends meet, I have to live with my mom. You know, she helps uh, a lot. Um, just so I don't have to get a second job, I can apply all my time. I mean, I train about six hours a day. So to put work on top of that, the year before the Olympics, I worked at GNC and I bounced out of bar. And um, my sleep schedule was rough. So, I mean, for the recovery reasons and the time I need to dedicate to the sport, um, especially at this level, I don't, I don't think it's possible to really have like a, another job that takes up six more hours of your day, you know. So you feel like that's helped you the last couple of years? Not yeah. Yeah. No, my mom is, I mean, she's the, the reason I'm able to train uh, all of our hard work, you know. It's, so, uh, so, so you, so you, you train full time? Is, is that right? I do, yeah. USATF has helped tremendously this year and uh, last year. Um, you know, USATF helped my coach get out here, you know, so I didn't have to pay for that without my coach being here. There's no way tonight happens, you know. USATF, Nike, and my mom are my three big sponsors, I'd say. So <laughs> medal help bonuses and a bunch of help I'm sure it will. I honestly don't know the numbers, but yeah, no, I mean, uh, yeah. Focused on the task at hand, that's good. That's, yeah, right, that's my agent's job. <laughs> so where are you based out? Where do you train? I train in Kansas, at the University of Kansas. Okay. Guys, we gotta wrap it up here. Thank you. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.